Hey guys, it's Mike with Writing in the Ozarks, and today we're talking about Harley Davidson. An article broke showing where they have applied to trademark the name Nightster. Are you familiar with what the Nightster is or was? Yeah, so the Nightster was a 1200 Sportster that they quit producing a few years ago. The Iron 1200, I think, is pretty similar. I don't know the exact differences, but they're technically a different model. I have to admit, when I read this article that said Harley Davidson had applied for the trademark for the name Nightster, the image that popped into my head immediately was this bike that we saw teased during the Pan America launch, the latest iteration of the custom 1250 middleweight cruiser. So I've talked about this bike quite a bit and I've been watching it really closely. And as I commented in a recent video, it has disappeared from Harley Davidson's website. They've actually taken the page down where they talked about under future vehicles. In fact, they've tried to hide the whole future vehicles page but the old page is there where they had the Pan America and the e-bike and the custom 1250. But the actual page that the custom 1250 was on is gone. If you go to that page now, you'll get a, I'm sorry, we cannot find this page. I think they're redoing the page. They're getting ready to launch the 1250. And uh, I think Nystr would be a cool name for it. I'm sure there's some Sportster owners out there that are hating that. And they're going to say, that's not a Sportster. But is it a Sportster? What is a Sportster? You know... We've got the 48, the 883, and the 1200. Harley has done away with the entry-level bikes like the Street 500, the Street 750, and the Night Rod. So the Sportster is already not available in several markets, including Europe, because it doesn't meet regulations and emission standards in those countries. Harley-Davidson has already said they did not want to upgrade the Sportster because of the sales was not high enough to justify the expense to meet those regulations. So... Do you think they're going to keep making the Sportster just for these limited markets where it can get by? Or do you think maybe they're going to come out with this uh, variable valve timing air-cooled engine that was patented a few years ago in a new version of the Sportster? I don't know that I see that happening, but I guess it's always a possibility. I really think the Custom 1250 is going to replace the Iron 1200. I think eventually we may see a smaller displacement like the 975 that was slated for the Bronx in the same custom 1250 and it'll be a custom 975 and that'll be kind of the replacement for the 883. I think that's the direction they're heading. Now I know people do not want to hear me say it, but I think the Sportster's dead. I think this is the last year. Look, I know it's tough to hear, but if you go out and you look at Harley Davidson's website, there's no category for Sportsters anymore. In fact, when you go look at the 48, the 883, and the Iron 1200, if you do a search on the page for the word Sportster, it doesn't exist. Harley-Davidson is getting away from that name of classification of bike. They're calling things street. That's the category. I think we're going to see the custom 1250 under the street category. I think if they come out with a 975, that's where we'll see it as a street. If they bring the Bronx back out, that's where we're going to see it as a street. And I think the 883 and the 1200s are going to fade from the site. Unless the 1250 is a huge fail, I just don't see it. I don't think they'll keep making the Iron 1200 and 883 for the limited markets where it still meets emission standards. Uh, the fact is, Harley's trying to get away from entry-level bikes. They've killed the 500 and the 750 and the Night Rod because they didn't sell well. We know in some countries... The Sportster doesn't sell well enough to justify the upgrade. And I, I know people are going to tell me that the Sportster is the best-selling bike Harley-Davidson has. If you look at their shipping numbers, I think it's 23% of the bikes they ship are Sportsters. Now, I'm not saying 23% is a small number. But if it's a low-margin bike and it is only 20% and it only represents 5% of your revenue because it's a low-margin bike, that makes, it, that makes it a target for the chopping block. That's the reality of business. Did you see my video on the certified pre-owned Harley-Davidson announcement? If not, go check it out. What does certified pre-owned mean and why does that relate? Well, we're talking about the future of the Sportster here. And if they come out with a 1250 and they kill off the Sportsters and they make the price even higher for the 1250 than say the 883 or the 1200 irons, then they're even getting further priced away from entry-level bikes. Is that a problem? Well, a lot of people think the certified pre-owned 
uh, push that Harley Davidson is doing is something that premium car makers do because they don't have affordable entry level models. So if you come in there wanting this premium car and you can't afford the price tag on it, they'll sell you a certified pre-owned version of that car that's a couple years old for less money. And once you got that paid off, you can trade it in and move up. Well, Harley Davidson may be doing the same thing. Now, I don't think the certified pre-owned is particularly big news or big money for them. I think they've been doing the same kind of stuff practically for years. You could finance used Harley Davidson's through them before. Uh, there were some dealers at least that advertised certified pre-owned bikes. Maybe this new program kind of brings everything together under one umbrella and it's going to be a new marketing push. But I think that's because they've gotten away from the entry level bikes. So now they're going to market that you can come to the dealership and rest assured you can buy a used bike and get a warranty and that's your way to the entry level Harley Davidson. Once you get that used bike paid off, then you can trade it or sell it and move up to a new Harley Davidson. I really want to know what the custom 1250 is going to be priced like. I haven't seen any leaks or anything on that. If anybody's got any information on that, leave me a link down below. Let me know. Do you think the Nightster is going to be a, a revised version of the 883-1200 with a uh, new motor like the variable valve timing air-cooled motor that was patented? Or do you think they're going to use the Nightster name for this black custom 1250 that was teased? Personally, that's my bets. And I think they're really going to get away from the Sportster line. I think they're already moving that way, so I don't see them going back. But they have a new CEO. Who knows what direction things may go now? There's still a lot of changes and moving and shaking going on at Harley-Davidson. Like I said, leave me a comment. I always appreciate your feedback. I learn stuff from you guys in the comments. Sometimes people have seen other videos or articles that help me become more informed. And I really appreciate that kind of content. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. And if you dig it, don't forget to subscribe down below. Ring that bell to be notified the next time I drop a new video. And as always, thank you for support. Stay safe and keep on riding.